This is a 1952 Chevrolet 3100 short bed pickup truck. It's a farm truck and uh, really a barn find. Cool little story on this truck. There we go. Just need to tap that pedal once. You know how old trucks are. Now this is a four-speed Muncie with a granny gear. So there's your granny gear. I can run through them all if I need to. Although I am doing this video by myself. So. Of course, that's all you get out of a granny gear. And you don't have to start in granny gear, of course. You can always just start first. Truck runs really good. Did my finger test on that on the video. You can see I have to steer it a little bit, but not much. You always have to be intentional about driving these old trucks. She runs down the road good. I'm probably doing about 45 right now. I love finding trucks like this. As I said earlier, kind of a cool story. This actually, this truck was purchased by a uh, wealthy businessman back in uh, late 70s, early 80s. He actually had a truck restored, parked it in one of his, uh, pull back here just a hair, parked it in one of his warehouses and he literally forgot about it. And they were, they were moving some, some, some things and some equipment around about a couple months ago and underneath the sheet they found this truck. So we pulled it out, gave it a tune-up. Got a little bit of a sputter on it, maybe need to dial in. I'll be honest with you, one of the big things about these old trucks is, or old cars too, is they need to be driven. I've cruised around in this truck a little bit and it drives great, but it needs to be driven. It needs to be driven. It's got fresh oil in it. It's got good plugs. Uh, points have been adjusted. Um, carburetor's been cleaned out. It's got fresh fluids in it. It's got the uh, pretty rare farm truck uh, front bumper on it, which is really cool. Of course, this is a five window truck, which is also rare more rare and very desirable. Body's nice and straight on it, minimal rust, very, very minimal rust. Glass is in excellent condition, weather stripping in good shape. It's got an older wood bed in it, probably pine. Still looks good. It's got the steel reinforcements on the back of the bed with all the reinforcement bar cable that goes down the, the bed, which is cool. These are the kind of things that you found on the old farm trucks. I love driving the five windows because they don't have the blind spots like the others do. I'll tell you what, before I go to the interior, we'll walk around again, do a little more fine tooth. A few little scratches here, little, you know, little neck. Hood's real straight, grill looks real good. I mean, it's a farm truck and it looks like a farm truck. This looks like the old trucks you see at the old Navy or Bass Pro Shops with a, you know, the back full of t-shirts. A little bit of paint, you know, peeling off the walk up there, but nice bottom of the doors are nice and straight. Bottom of the cab's good, but even the original cab corners are in good, pretty good shape. A little bit of surface rust back there. And on the other side, there's a couple of little bubbles, but nice, good, original, solid cab corner. Step up's in good shape. Around the fender's pretty good. A um, couple of little nicks, dings, dents there, here and there. Pro either this is the original in excellent shape tailgate or they may have been replaced back when they did that restoration a while back. Heavy duty hitch in the back, old style. So you could tow something with this. So this would be a great truck to tow a boat to the lake. Fender looks real good. Same thing on the as it was on the other side. A little bit of paint chipping off the step ups. A little bit of rust bubbles, like I said, right here on this side. The other side's rust free, or uh, rust bubble free at least. Bottoms of the doors in excellent shape. Real cool truck. It's got some older tires on it, so uh, 
they have good tread, but at some point they might want to be replaced. Look at the bottoms of the doors. Excellent. Two small, tiny little rust spots there, but other than that, great. Still got its uh, door panels, which is really cool. Original Vintag in the proper position. The interior looks great. Nice covered seat. Nice unmolested dash. And I'll tell you what, just a, just a couple days ago, the horn was working, so it's probably just as simple as a wire, and it blows very loud. Now the speedometer is not working. When you flip on the gauges, you get a fuel indicator that is working. And I think that the oil pressure gauge is working, but I'm not positive. Those are the original factory, you know, radio delete. That's old, old right there. It's got just a little bit of a kind of a carpet on the ceiling, not the uh, not the right headliner, but just something to keep it looking fresh and clean. Really, really cool old truck. Windows, doors open and close well. Hinge pockets are in good shape. Windows roll up and down. Underneath the truck, good and clean. No, uh, no undercoating or any paint hiding anything. Kind of what you see is what you get. Look at those step ups. They are in excellent shape. I mean, yes, they have surface rust on them, but this is a farm truck. Well, I'll tell you what. Look at those frame rails in excellent shape as well. Floor pans, no rust. That almost looks like the original exhaust. Great thing about this, this is a great driving truck. Battery in its original position. Well, there you have it. This is a really cool truck. This is gonna make somebody a real fun summer project, uh, driving project, if you wanna call it that. Although to me, there's not a whole bunch of projecting to be done on it. This is a truck you can jump in and drive like it is. Enjoy it. It's mechanically reliable. Transmission shifting out good. Maybe, maybe could use some new tires. I'd keep an eye on them, but uh, they have excellent tread. They've never been driven on. They're just probably older tires. So there you have it. PeachTreeClassicCars.com.